Okay, today we will create an animated city walking tour and a driving travel map to demo the technique of line drawing animation I posted in my past videos. Instead of a still image or arrow as the leading icon, this time we will use animated graphics. Here is a map of central Manhattan in New York City. The clip is set to 6 seconds for this demo. Right click and convert it to a fusion clip and open it in the fusion page. While the media in node is selected, click the paint tool on the toolbar to insert a paint node between the media in and media out nodes. On the viewer toolbar, select the polyline stroke tool. Set the color to red. Change the brush type to circle, change the size as needed. Zoom in the viewer so that it's easier to trace the stroke. In this demo, we make a polyline starting from the American Museum of Natural History to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and then through the Central Park to the Museum of Modern Art, finally the last stop, Times Square. Once we're done with the path, we can click the Done button in the toolbar to lock the stroke. Go to the Inspector, in the Modifiers tab, rename the stroke to Walking Tour. Since it's a walking tour, we will change it to a dotted line. Open the Stroke Control section, increase the spacing, and we see that the line now becomes dotted. We set the spacing to 1.2 for this demo. You can play with the brush size and color settings to get a result to your liking. Make sure the playhead is at frame 0, change the right on's end value to 0, enable the keyframe. Move the playhead to frame 150, move the right on end slider to the very end, which sets the value to 1, and a keyframe is added automatically. Play the clip, and the line is now animated and showing the walking path. Next we will add a few big dots with animation to highlight our main stops. Select the paint node in the viewer toolbar, choose the circle tool. Draw the circles close to these attractions. In the modifiers tab of the paint node, we now have the walking tool and four circles indicating the four stops. We will add simple animations to those circles as the line moves on. Go to frame 10, mark a keyframe for the radius of circle 1, move back to frame 0, reduce the radius to 0, and the circle is animated as the playhead moves. Move the playhead forward until it reaches the second circle, it's about 32, Move 10 more frames ahead to 42, and enable the keyframe for radius of circle 2. Move back to frame 32, reduce the radius to 0, we now animated the second circle. Continue the process for circle 3 and circle 4. We can also label each of these stops using text nodes. Drag a text node from the toolbar to the node editor. Enter AMNH as the text, which is the abbreviation of American Museum of Natural History, change the color and size. Merge it with the paint node. Select the merge node, move the text above the first circle. Select the text node, click the rectangle button in the toolbar to add a mask, Resize the mask so that it covers only the text area. Select the text node, move the playhead to frame 10, where the circle animation ends. Go to the layout tab of the text node, mark the keyframe of the center parameter. Move to the first frame, change the center Y value so that the text disappears from the bottom of the mask. The text label is now animated together with the circle. Select both the text and rectangle nodes, press Ctrl-C to make a copy. Click the empty area inside the node editor, press Ctrl-V to paste a copy. Merge the new text node with Merge 1. Change the text. Select the Merge 2 node, move the label above the second circle. 
Click the keyframes button on the top navigation bar to open the keyframe panel. Select both the newly added text node and paint node. In the keyframes panel, click the zoom to fit icon to see all the keyframes. Select the text keyframes and move them to align with the keyframes of the second circle. Repeat the copy and paste steps to create labels for the third and fourth circles. This looks good now. And next we will add a leading image to the path animation. In the media pool, I have prepared a walking icon, drag it to the node editor and merge it with the last merge node. Select the new merge node, resize the icon. In the inspector panel, right click the center parameter, select animate. Go to the modifiers tab, right click the displacement and choose remove path to displacement. So that we can connect it with the path from the walking tour. Right click the label, but nothing is available to connect yet. Go to the node editor, select the paint node. In the inspector, go to the modifiers tab. At the bottom of walking tour controls, right click the label of shape animation, choose publish to make the polyline available for other nodes to connect. Select the merge 5 node and go to the modifiers tab, right click the label. Select connect to, walking to a polyline and value. Now if we change displacement value, the walking icon moves along the path. Mark a keyframe at frame 0 with values 0, move to frame 150, where the line animation ends, change the displacement value to 1. A new keyframe is added. If we examine the frames, you may find sometimes the icon is either too far ahead or behind the line. In this case, we can simply adjust the displacement value to match them, which adds keyframes automatically. If we want to have animated graphics as the leading icon, we can either create an animation object in DaVinci Resolve or use an existing short video clip or import a GIF image sequence. Since DaVinci Resolve doesn't support images in GIF format, we have to extract images as sequence from a GIF file. Before we can import multiple images as an image sequence clip, make sure that all the individual image files are named sequentially, and in the media page, the frame display mode is set to sequence. Here is an image sequence I prepared for this demo. Drag to the node editor, disconnect the previous icon, and connect the image sequence to merge 5. The duration of the sequence is only 1 second long. Check this loop option in the inspector, so that it repeats itself for the entire fusion composition. For a short walking tour in a city like this, it's not difficult to trace the route on the map directly. If we want to create an animated driving map like the one showing here, it could be very time consuming to paint a polyline path on the map. Instead, we can use GIMP to create a path in SVG format with just a few clicks and import the SVG path into Fusion for the animation. Open the map image in GIMP. The driving direction in blue was made with Google Map. Choose the fuzzy select tool on the toolbar. Click the blue line to select the driving route. Add a new layer above. Hide the map layer. Choose the bucket fill tool in the toolbar. Fill the selection with a solid color. Select the fuzzy select tool. Click inside the loop, which makes a selection with only one border of the shape. Since we need a path that goes through the middle of the route, Go to the Select menu and choose Grow, expand the selection by 2 pixels. Right-click the selection, choose Select to Path. In the Path window, right-click, choose Export Path and export to a SVG file. Now we have the path, go back to DaVinci Resolve, open the map in the Fusion page. In the Fusion menu, select Import, 
SVG. Choose the SVG file we just exported from GIMP. Merge the new node group with media in node, and we see that a black root is showing in the viewer. Select the merge node, resize the path so that it aligns with the blue line on the map. Inside the group node, select the background one node, change the color to red. Select the selection node, adjust the border width. We can now keyframe the length parameter to create a line drawing animation, but there is a problem here. I can only create a clockwise animation using this selection node, instead I'd like to have the animation in the counterclockwise direction starting from Las Vegas. In this case, we add a paint node to the group after the background 2 node, and choose the polyline stroke tool from the toolbar. Select the selection node in the inspector, Right-click the shape animation label, and choose Publish to make the path available. Select the paint node, go to the Modifiers tab in the inspector, right-click the shape animation, select Connect to, Selection, Polyline, and Value. Change the color and brush size as needed. The original selection path is no longer required, disconnect it from the node tree. Now we can animate the write-on parameter like we did earlier. Since we need to reverse the direction, we set the beginning keyframe with both start and end value to 0.756, which is the position of Las Vegas. Change the start value to minus 0.244 for the ending keyframe. Similarly, we can add big circles and text labels to mark the main stops of the trip. The last thing is to add an animated video clip to lead the animation. To follow the counterclockwise direction, we set the starting keyframe with a displacement value of 0 0.756 minus 0 0.244 for the ending keyframe. Now we have an animated travel route. We can remove the background map and put it on top of the map that doesn't have the blue driving route. Adjust the zoom and position to make sure it aligns with roads on the map. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.